Hey hello everybody, Colin here with TechOut, and iOS 16.2 Beta 3 is now out to registered developers and should be out shortly to public beta testers as well, if it's not already out at the time of this video. And I want to go over some of the big features in iOS 16.2 Beta 3 that we just got, and one of my favorite is if we go down here to Display and Brightness, and we go to Always on Display, rather than just being a toggle now, just to turn it on and off, we actually have a few different options here. Um, so obviously you can turn it on and off still here, um, but you now have options for showing notifications and if you want to show the wallpaper or not. Um, so a lot of people were using um, black wallpapers to save battery life because they didn't want colored wallpapers on the screen all the time. Now if you want a colorful wallpaper, you can still do that and you can just completely disable the wallpaper altogether. And you can see there's a, let me change it to a, a wallpaper that has some color to it so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, but here is my wallpaper and then when I put the phone to sleep you can see the wallpaper goes away and we're left with just the black screen. Um, so you can do that. You can also turn off notifications. So if you just want your wallpaper and no notifications down here, um, you don't want them sitting down there on the bottom, you can do that as well. Um, I don't have any notifications right now, but you can see that the um, the focus mode does go away when I turn that off with that enabled. Um, and then if I turn on notifications again, um, you can still see the focus mode on the always on display. So that is new to iOS 16.2 beta 3. And I'm hoping with this we do see some more um, always on display customizations, maybe custom wallpapers that you can set just for the always on display, um, and maybe different stuff you can show on there. Um, kind of like how Android has it where you can really customize your always on display. Hopefully we get some more options coming to the iPhone as well, um, because that's something I've really wanted to see since the always on display came out. Um, it was really kind of disappointing to see that we only got an on and off toggle and nothing else that we could change. Um, so that's one of the big features. We also do have some stuff. Let me go into it real quick just so I don't show any phone numbers. Uh, but if we go to the bottom of Emergency SOS, um, we do have the demo out now for uh, the satellite uh, Emergency SOS. This is not part of iOS 16.2. Um, this is also available in iOS 16.1. It was released um, without an update, just over the air. It was rem remotely enabled. Um, so if you have an iPhone 14, um, any of the iPhone 14s, the regular 14 or the Pro, um, check your emergency SOS settings. If your phone is up to date, you should now be able to do the demo of the emergency SOS satellite connection. It'll show you how it works and all that kind of stuff. And the feature is also now enabled on those devices. Um, so that is new um, today on the iOS um, or on the iPhone 14 series. So that's one of the big features in iOS 16.2 beta 3 and just some new stuff that we have out today as well. I'm Colin with TechOut. If you guys have any comments or want to leave anything that uh, you found in the beta uh, down in the description, go ahead and leave a comment or not in the description, down in the comments, go ahead and leave a comment and do that. Um, and I will be back when we have some new updates. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.